Hi, I'm Kristen Henry King, and you are watching Kristen Keeps It Real. You are also witnessing me downsize my self-tape setup to accommodate those with smaller spaces, including myself. Specifically, we're going to compare five Fovitech portable backdrop colors, and if you watch to the end, I will show you some of these same backdrops on fair skin and even more space-saving, budget-friendly options. First, we will start with the Fovitech backdrops with real-life self-tape scenarios. I don't know about you, but for convenience, I normally shoot in selfie mode on my iPhone 12 Pro with my ring light on. But after uploading the footage for this video, I quickly realized the quality was not that great. So, I filmed it again for you, showing you both the back camera and the selfie camera with natural light, without makeup, for three reasons. One, to show you how the camera smooths out your face when there's a contrasting background. Two, for the men out there, or anyone else for that matter who don't wear makeup in their auditions. And three, if we're really being honest, I basically had no time to even put makeup on today. So let's get after it. As promised, here are the blue and gray backdrops on fair skin. Backdrop is a great option for smaller spaces because it can come down in size and be stowed away easily without taking up any room real estate. But let me tell you, this was not an easy feat to fold this thing down. Um, then again, once I got the hang of it, I wondered why it was so hard in the first place. The trick is to rest the rim on your hips, hold the sides nearest to your body, guide your elbows inside on either side of the backdrop, and it just kind of falls in place and stays down. Easy peasy. However, I do have beef with this backdrop. First of all, you need to purchase some sort of stand to hold it so that when you were doing a scene, you don't see the edges of the backdrop. I'm 5'8", and it's just too short for me if used horizontally. So a stand is absolutely necessary. And if you want to do a full body, you will now see the bottom of the setup when you pull out. I personally like to put my full body next to my close-up in one take. However, in this case, it is not seamless, which is a total pet peeve of mine. But if you can get over those things, these backdrops really are a great solution for studio apartments or rooms with multiple purposes. All you really need is a ring light, and you are good to go, which I will link in the description below. No backdrops? No problem. A concrete wall found in a basement, garage, or a parking structure is very flattering. Here's an example of an audition I did on one of these walls with just a ring light. Also, it gives that clean and seamless look that I love so much in my slates, where you see the full body on one side and the close-up on the other. If you don't have a concrete wall, consider painting a faux one on one of your walls in your home. In my opinion, the texture just adds so much more depth to your tape, plus it looks cool in your space when you aren't filming anyway. Using furniture or a painted wall or door that is not white is another budget-friendly option. I have currently been doing my live Zoom auditions on this door, which is painted in Sherwin-Williams Iron Ore. This color looks stunning with natural light any time of day in my house, even when it's cloudy out. Literally, I have had casting directors comment on how nice it is and how the door frames me just right. I've also been known to use my piano as a backdrop, as it's a perfect dark shade of brown and it gives really good contrast to the skin. QOD. What are your best go-to space-saving, budget-friendly backdrops you use for your auditions? Let's help each other out. Write it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you got something out of this video, share it with your actor friends. I'll see you next time. <laughs>